YouTube. I just wanted to come to you today and talk about 10 things that could be potentially important for you to know before going natural. I know there's a lot of people out there that are considering going natural who are in the process of going natural. So I wanted to, you know, give you these 10 tips so that you can find it, you know, an easier transition or easier phase that you are going through. Um, the, the first thing is why do you want to go natural? You know, do you want to go natural because you want a clean slate? Do you want to go natural because you're having, you know, problems with the chemicals? Or do you want to go natural because it's, you know, the thing to do? Make sure you understand and know why you want to go natural. Because once you're natural, you know, however you transition, um, you want to make sure that you know why it is that you want to go natural. Um, number two educate yourself there's a lot of communities out there there's different hair care blogs there are different you know um, video creators on YouTube there's a whole natural hair community that's out there for us and for you to go ahead and you know take a look at what are they doing you know how are they taking care of their hair but make sure that after you watch things and after you read things that you do your own research you don't want to do something you know to your hair and then it destroys your hair or it's something that's not working for your hair. So make sure you educate yourselves and know that what's out there and know, you know, the true do's and don'ts as far as your hair care. Number three, how to prepare. I hear a lot of people say, you know, once I'm going natural, you know, I can't do this. They put weaves in their hair. They're not, not moisturizing their hair. They just give up. Once you prepare, making sure that you're, you know, um, going out there and you're doing you know the things and you're taking care of your hair as if you were already natural um, making sure that you know you're making it easy some people you know transition with roller sets some people uh, trans transition using um, flex rods so find out you know what's good with transitioning for you some people use braids you know to transition out but the only thing that I would say as far as using braids to transition is to make sure you're watching your edges because a lot of times you put the weaves and it's pulling you know on your hair and it's causing tension and it's pulling hair your hair out of your hair fall I mean it's pulling your hair sorry out from the roots and with it's you know pulling your hair follicles out so making sure that you're having something that's going to reduce the tension that's on your hair to prevent as much hair loss as possible um, number five is changing your hair products the one thing that I found that was beneficial for me was changing my hair products to organic uh, hair products getting rid of a lot of the products that had the silicones the sulfates and things like that once I started doing that, I noticed a difference in my hair. I noticed a difference in, um, you know, how soft my hair was. And also, you know, uh, Carol's daughter has an oil infusion, excuse me, an oil infusion kit that you can use. And it do really does work. I bought it like right before I transitioned and I used it. And it did make my hair really easy to comb. And it was a lot of slip on there. So if you want to have that product, you can, you know, buy that. It's $25. I, the last time I checked, they were sold out on Carol's Daughter's website, but I know they do have it at Sephora for $25. So that's another way. So making sure you're changing your products to take care of your hair as if you were already natural was beneficial. Number six, what to expect. A lot of people, you know, they have length. You know, my hair was super long. And they don't want to lose the length, which is fine. There's no, you know, exact time frame as, oh, you have to do your big chop or you have to big chop. But know that you will lose hair from shedding, from, you know, the line of demarcation that everybody hears about is where, you know, your natural hair is stronger than your chemically processed hair. And it will break. So know that you are going to lose hair, you know. Um, so the best way to try and prevent from losing hair, you know, is to make sure that, you know, you're moisturizing, making sure, you know, that you're deep conditioning, but you're still going to lose hair, but making sure that you're using whatever styling methods as far as your protective styles for your hair to make sure that you can reduce the amount of breakage that you'll have, but you will still have breakage. So expect breakage, expect shedding, you know, my hair shed like crazy. It was breaking and I, you know, didn't want to get to the point to where, my hair was, you know, at the ends, my natural hair was going out, and then I had, you know, thin, relaxed hair on the ends, so I just, you know, did my big chop so that once my hair grows out, you know, it'll be all thick and, you know, 
healthy looking and you know nice so that's the one thing that's the one thing as far as that to expect that your hair is going to break um, the other thing number seven is preparing yourselves uh, mentally and emotionally um, we I feel I had a you know emotional tie to my hair because it's been you know long and relaxed for so long but also making sure you're presenting your I mean preparing yourself sorry uh, mentally a lot of people are gonna say comments like you know they said to me oh your hair is so long if I were you I would go and get a black rinse I would get it trimmed and I'd be swinging my hair if I were you I would be doing so you're gonna get a lot of that but no if you know in the first place why you want to go natural then it won't bother you people are gonna say comments you know but you do you that's the one thing because you know people thought oh she's not gonna cut her hair blah 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 and I showed up to work the next day and it was what gone so make sure you know you know and you prepare yourself mentally and emotionally because you know people are gonna say whatever they're gonna say but if you have a strong sense of herself you don't have to worry about that so that's the one thing and also um, another thing that I found you know helpful as far as preparing yourself mentally and emotionally was reading hair story um I'm already a strong person but that just helped me as far as some of the historical backgrounds by you know the host sorry the historical background behind a lot of the ways that we view you know hair in America and we as African Americans so that was very beneficial you know it talks about you know the paradigm shift of you know, finding, you know, creating the relaxer and the jerry curls and S curls and dukes and ways. So that, the good hair, bad hair thing. So that was very beneficial and, you know, it was very empowering. So that was one way that I found just kind of sealed the deal for me because I was a little unsure as to, I don't know if I want to do it. I have so much hair. And after I read that, I was like, you know, I'm all in. So make sure you're preparing yourself mentally and emotionally. Um, start learning your hair. That's another thing. Once I, you know, was I was experimenting with products um, when I started uh, having new growth, you know, I started, you know, wetting my hair, you know, and trying to play with, you know, my natural hair to see, you know, how it was going to react to things and, you know, what would work as far as, you know, playing with the different oils and playing with the different creams and uh, moisturizers and shampoos. So learn your hair. Start learning your hair. Read up on, you know, the hair. I know they have the hair chart. You know, personally, I'm really not into that. I just know I have thick hair and it's extra, you know, curly. Um, but I don't really get into the hair charting system. I know that they um, suggest that if you want, you know, to better care for your hair, that you know what, um, if you're 3C, 3B, 4A, um, that you know the system so that you can get the right products and things for your hair. Um, but that's the one thing learn your hair know what works for it I know I have extremely thick hair so I have to moisturize 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 because my hair drinks <laughs> moisturizer like there is no tomorrow so learn your hair because you know I may need the heavier things on my hair but the thing is that some people with thin hair they may not need you know as much moisture so figure out what it is that works on your hair um, number nine set your goals know if you want to do your big chop or if you want to be a long-term transitioner meaning you know that you want to transition and clip as you go your um, relaxer off or if you just want to just chop it all off and you know be done with it and just start your hair journey afresh so you know set goals you know or do you want to go on a hair you know um, growth journey you know what it is that you want to do so set goals so that you'll know what it is that you are trying to accomplish when you do your big chop and while you're going natural um and also you know know that you're gonna get frustrated you know there were times when i was transitioning and you know i was like i'm gonna transition you know for months and i'm gonna do it for eight months and this but i got frustrated and i was like you know what i'm not used to my hair looking like this i'm just gonna chop it off and i did my big chop and you know i'm satisfied as you can see got earrings you know makeup whatever you do you know just make it your own but know that you're going to get frustrated throughout this journey um and then you have support develop a support system so that you know you know okay when i get frustrated who can i call on who's out there for me to talk to to get through this point and learn more things and number 10 is just when you're ready make your big chop appointment or you can do it yourself there's a lot of people that do it on their own you know i'm not that brave to you know get out there and cut my own hair but 
You know, there are some people who may know how to do it and, you know, they're happy with it. But if you're not, you know, one to try it that way, then go out there and find you a natural hair care salon and go ahead and get your hair chopped and styled and start learning and start reading about your hair. Um, and then, you know, your journey will begin. So hope these things, I hope that these 10 things helps. Um, someone out there that's you know considering going natural I'm also going to do you know a segment as far as you know what to do after you're don't you're you know newly natural or totally natural because that's another thing I've been seeing is a lot of people don't know what to do with their hair and it's sad that you know we have you know this hair on our heads that a lot of people you know or other races are amazed with and we don't know how to take care of our own hair because we've had, you know, relaxers and chemicals in our hair trying to get it straightened that we don't even know how to take care of our own natural hair. Um, so I hope this helps. I'm going to add some links on the bottom as far as, you know, reading material and things and links that, you know, hopefully will help. So until next time, take care. Love you. Bye.